Hi everyone, welcome to another Workflows tutorial. In this video, we will show you how you can capture phishing events from solutions like GoFish and change security at Okta based on that. Before we start, let's have a quick understanding of what is GoFish. GoFish is a phishing framework tool. And what it allows you to do is to pin fish or try to find vulnerabilities within your users, employees, or contractors. So you can send uh, emails and try to fish these users. And from that, take reports, which later you can use to decide whether your users need additional security awareness training, or you need to invest in additional solutions like multi-factor authentication. One thing with pen phishing tools is that the end, the end result of that is usually manual, right? You need to get the report and make decisions yourself. But by using workflows with Okta, you can actually automate part of that process. My example here, what we will do is if a user falls in a phishing campaign in GoFish, we will update the user information at Okta with that event. And if the user did something special, actually he submitted his credentials in a tool, which means his credentials got stolen, we will deactivate that user. So let's go through the setups and see how this would look like when we test the solution. First, starting with the setup. This workflow template is available in the template option here. And as soon as you install, you have step-by-step -step instructions you would follow. First one is going to the Okta directory profile editor and creating an attribute to store the user event when he gets fished. I already created my attribute here and it's called user fished. You can create with the best name that suits you. After that, you go to the templates that got created, the flows that got created with the template. The most important one is the go fish security event. So let's break it down. These workflows get a request from the GoFish when there's a webhook executed over there. So there's a webhook endpoint, which I'm going to copy here. And it captures the event and see if the user clicked the link or submitted data. If the, one of those two risk events are captured, we're going to make sure that this request actually came over from GoFish. We do this by using HMAC signatures provided and shared between both workflows and GoFish. And if so, we update the user attribute fished with the time it happened. Finally, if the user happened to share his credentials or submit it, which means the user got pwned, we're actually also suspending this user. At Okta to make it happen, you just need to copy the workflow endpoint, which I already got. And also, you just need to head over to this table here and set up the HMAC secret, which will be shared between uh, GoFish and Okta. So I'm setting here a random secret, which I'm saving over. And we will reuse that when setting up GoFish. Cool. That's all the setup we need to do at Okta. Let's go to GoFish and finish this. In GoFish, you just need to create a webhook. And what this webhook will do, it will basically have GoFish calling Okta every time a user falls in a fish or another security event happens. So I'm pasting over that secret we have. I already have the workflow URL here, and I'm saving the changes. Finally, the only thing left to do is test it out and see what will happen. Before I start my test, let me go back to Okta and show you a user I already have separated for this. It's Mark Vulnerable. So Mark Vulnerable is a user that's uh, pre-activated. So he just needs to reset his password to get going at Okta. And he didn't get fished yet. But that's about to change. So let's actually go and fish him. I'm going to create a phishing campaign here using the full attributes from um, the solution. So I'm running that on my own machine. So I'm using localhost as the placeholder. And I'm going to launch this campaign. Cool. So when a campaign is launched, I get information here. And actually, I just got my email sent to Mark Vulnerable at Millinator, which I happen to have right over here. 
So I'm getting that phishing attempt. I'm not paying attention to the details here. I'm just going to go and reset my password. This will lead me over to the place where I'm going to get my credentials capture. And I submitted that. And it feels like I'm doing the right thing. But if I go here to my solution, GoFish, I can see that the user opened, clicked the link, and submitted the data, which means he got completely uh, pwned. So let's show what happens at Okta. First, if I go here and reset the user, you can see that the user got suspended and also that I got an update in his phishing date. Second, if I go to workflows, back to my major flow, you will see that I got three events. One, when the user clicked the link. Second, oops, it's here. Second is when the user um, opened the email. And finally, when the user submitted the data. Based on that information, Okta validated the request and actually updated or deactivated the user. Cool, right? So if you want to use this uh, template, just head over to the templates page and workflows and have fun with that. Talk to you later. Bye.